Hey guys, welcome to this month's iteration of the monthly games club uh, for Player Two. Basically, uh, this month it was my choice, and I decided to drop some knowledge on the other two chuckleheads with Super Metroid, a fantastic Super Nintendo game that more or less is the epitome of one of my favorite styles of game, which is the, the Metroidvania style. Uh, obviously, Metroid, it's in the name. Basically, it's a uh, fantastic exploration 2D uh, side scrolly game, and uh, it came out in 94. It's the, uh, it was the third iteration at that point of the Metroid franchise, and to this day is heralded as one of the, one of the greatest sort of games that there is, and it's a, it's a great template that a lot of people use uh, for a lot of different styles of games these days. I absolutely love it. Um, I love the exploration. I, I love that there's secrets everywhere. You're always finding something new, and it's, it's got something for everyone, players who want to play it fast, players who want to play it thoroughly, people who just want to sit down and explore. It's it's a great game, and uh, that's why I brought it on to these two guys, because they hadn't played it before, and that is an absolute travesty. So uh, without further ado, uh, here's what the guys thought of it. Welcome to the Player 2 Video Games Club. I'm your host, Paul James, and I'm again joined by Jay Parnas, yeah, Damo Camilleri, <laughs> and uh, as is normally the way, the person who selects the game leads the charge. So, Jay, what did you bring for us this month? Huh? What game did you bring to us this month? Kept us off? We played a game. Huh? <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> um, no, so this month... <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of the day. We're very we're quiet, sure really promising. We stuff. are ripping through this shit. Like that um, chicken ripped through you. Like, <laughs> can we not talk about chicken? Um, see my Twitter account from like four or five weeks ago to see yeah. what we're referring yeah. to. Yeah. Deep cock. Uh, <laughs> proud of that? Yeah, very much. All right, Super Metroid. Let's stop ruining this. Okay, yes. This game is fantastic. Um, <sighs> it's. it's it's the, the most serious of business. Um, this this game type, Metrovanias. Um, you two have not really ever poked around in that style of game very much before. I know, and, I mean, and, I when know I, and when I did, Axiom Verge went really badly for me. I didn't oh, go that bad. I, I did no, trouble with sorry, I, had one, I had one boss. But, but really like I, because I played through on your finished game file, and you just didn't really explore at all. Like it just didn't catch you in that way. Yeah. I know you've played Ori and the Blind Forest. I don't know if you have as well. I hear yeah, that that's yeah. got some of that type of stuff. Far as lesser well. extent. Yeah. Um. But I mean, Super Metroid and also Castlevania: City of the Night, which is not really what the original Castlevanias were all about. But basically, those two games are basically the epitome of what this type of game is supposed to be. Uh, Castlevania a little bit less so because there's grinding to it where you're grinding yeah. experience and you know you're, you're trying to get um, drops from some of the enemies to get your better armor whereas in Super Metroid it's purely like when you start the game all of your upgrades are in the game somewhere yeah. like there's nothing that you have to like oh I have to kill X amount of this enemy and hopefully it'll drop this cool arm cannon for me to be able to be like pop pop bitch yeah no None of that. It's all I'm in the game. Get my gun. Yeah, yeah. Samus turns a gun on the side. <laughs> um, so I've got uh, quite a few questions for us this month, um, so that we can have a nice long conversation. So apologies up front if this one goes a little long, um, but this game is fucking sick, and you really need to get on board. And if you haven't already, if you have, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I actually don't know anyone who's played Super Metroid and hated it. So there you go. Uh, and hopefully that remains to be the case. I don't. I actually don't know what you guys. I know you guys probably like it at the very least, <laughs> uh, but I don't know to what extent. So I guess we'll find out over the course of this video. Uh, so to start with, um, he's making a real claim for hosting gigs here. Continue, jealous? No. Um, I am. <laughs> yeah. So self, self-proclaimed host. I, I host things. Um, first question: What did you think of Metroid? Well, Super Metroid. No, shit. Okay. No. Um, uh, no. Really, really quite. Someone whose <laughs> opinion I value. You don't go. Um, no, it was really quite good. Um, I mean, this, it's not too much because I'm sure twenty two years questions. old. Yeah, and it hold, holds up well. Like I played I mean, both of us played on the three DS. No, oh, yeah, I played on the three DS. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I played it on the three DS via the virtual console, um, which is still fairly fairly new. Yeah, which is still yeah still fairly new on that, but um. I did have some difficulties in the way it's best to play I with the D pad rather than the, the the nub on the um on the DS. The it just because of the shape of the three DS 
became really uncomfortable and tiring to use after a while. Which again, I, I regret, but that's not how it was designed. So That's right. That's like, I had to kind of isolate that because I know that when I'm holding a Super Nintendo controller, I'm playing with arguably the greatest controller ever made. So I'm not, it's going, up there. To, it's up I'm there. not going to have that issue. Mm. Um, and so I can I mean, separate that from And me. any control issues you may have had with some of the movement could potentially go fall down to that as well. I don't know. Why, if you had any difficulty with some of the triangle jumping or, or the, the spin jumping, I don't know if you had any. No, I didn't have any difficulties with wall. the actual movement because I use the D pad instead. Okay, um, so for me, it's just uncomfortable to do. I, I've tried with a number of different control options, and one of them happened to be a control stick. And yeah, sometimes you'll because uh, there's a thing where you, you can with your spin jumps. You know, they jump from the wall to wall when you're spin jumping. And if you happen to look up to try fire upwards, yeah, um, it'll pull you out of that spin jump and you can't get back into it until you land. Yeah. So if you're like jumping up a little canyon jump or chimney jump, I think it's called, um, and you get almost up to the top and you look up and that's it, you fall. Yeah. yeah. The bottom. So um, yeah, I know how annoying that can be. Um, so if that's yeah. I wouldn't hold that against it either, so you, you're right to do that. Um, so yeah, you like it? I really enjoyed it. Um, Excellent. Damn, pretty like clear it. progression. Yeah, I frothed it. To be honest, I, I loved it. It brought me back right back into uh, Metroid 2, to be honest. I was just like... Which I didn't know until today that you'd actually... That's, that you'd played that. I yeah, think. I played the crap out of that on my Game Boy. I, got, I played it so much on the first day I got it that my foot fell asleep. I went... To stand up to show my dad something and I fell over like I was like oh god <laughs> like out like just go on save the Game Boy though that's how good I was with your face <laughs> yeah because <laughs> yeah, as he falls he's throwing it up in the air and it's, it's smashing against his face on the way down <laughs> just increasing those, the impact those original Game Boys would but, have um, no. <laughs> they were. but no it, it was real good it was real good. Yeah, I much better. Like, preferred it much better compared to Metroid One. I tried to play that once, and it oh, was okay. not. It's bad news, bears. It does have a few kickbacks to Metroid One. Yeah, in the game. And I mean, like, look, I don't. Not that I turn around like Metroid One's a shit game. It just did not. It did not jam with me when I went to play it. When I did, but I mean, Metroid... you're, you're more of a SNES kid than a NES kid, anyway. Yeah, I mean, I had a NES, but I love the SNES. It's just how it goes. But um, sixteen bit era. Yeah, it was it was really fun. Like, I mean, I know the world record holder for Fusion speed running, and he's just now starting to play um, Super Metroid. Super, Super Metroid. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. So I did I did some looking into it, and man, that game has been so refined. I mean, it's loved by so many. So I mean, it's just this is a real solid game. So what sort of times are people speed running? I think it's. Down to like an hour twelve. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the record is for a hundred percent run. I think any percent runs down to forty three minutes or something. Okay. That's still- I don't know. I don't hold me to that. You can look it up. Just I don't know who's the current record holder. Game's I know the current record holder is it's calling fun. out. Yeah, it's you. funny. No, obviously, obviously not. But, uh, yeah. What was your completion time? Too long. Oh, my completion time? No, I was just asking him. I know oh, yours. yours. What well, was yours? Probably seven hours. Yeah, they're about seven hours. Yeah, that's my first playthrough was about six hours. And then the second one went down it was to... probably a, seven close to About eight. three and a... No, four, because I couldn't find the last freaking missile pod. Yeah, I remember you And saying, then, like, yeah, I got down to about... a little comment stream there. Two and a half, three hours in between that. For well, the that actually... Playthrough. That, that, did uh, you find that it or did you resort to the insect to find it? What? No, I found it. Like, I had my map out, and I was like, uh, I don't know if I got that one. Like, because I was like, it has to be in between this area. And then I went, wait, so you did, no, did there's you use a... any online help for that? Or Pardon? Did you use any online help for that? Or What do you mean online help? Like, did you look at a, like a big YouTube overworld saw... map and just be like... Oh, well, I had an overworld map on me, and I was marking them off as I got them. And then I stopped, because I was like, well, whatever. Like, I mapped out. I'll get them when I get them. I what mapped your, out. What was your original completion percentage? 66. Okay. And yours? Do you know? Well, yeah, the say it was like once. Yeah, this morning. Yeah. Um, like 80. 80, so yeah. Um, um, so that so actually leads me to Very high for what I'm normally like. Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, that's that's does lead me to my next question. Um, did new items have meaning to you? Was there was there like a? Did you feel any weight towards when you when you got something new? Was was there a feeling of like this? Change? They all felt necessary. 
Well, yeah, I mean, they, they all were, but... Oh, yeah, but, like, like I didn't, actually didn't feel like... felt that, though. Okay. Cool. Because some is like, okay, this is just a minor or incremental upgrade on... Well, that's how you... That's almost... I some, some of them, that's how I felt with that, too, but, but um, you were like, well, whatever, it's just another weapon. I beat the game, didn't I? That was, yeah, that exactly. Was kind the, of the, the, yeah, the thing with this was that they all... Like, I felt I required them to progress with this, where I didn't necessarily with Axie Verge, and it probably stifled my progress somewhat in Axie Verge because... Sure. It's like, whatever. And there was stuff that you missed that was like... That like would have made some encounters a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. And that's and some things from really early on, too. Yeah. And you, David? How did, how did, how did new items feel to you? Like, what, what, what sort of feeling did you feel when you got those? Um, like, did it matter? No, I mean, it was really cool watching getting the different suits. That was always fun. Um, the missile pod, like, upgrades and things like that wasn't... Yeah, it was like, oh, cool, like, get to use that more. Uh, the reserve I, tank was like, ooh. I'm, I'm, I'm more so talking to your, like, first playthrough. Yeah. Where it's like when you, when you didn't know what the upgrades were going to be. You know, when, you, when there's that little ball and you, like, shoot it to crack open what's in there. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I guess because I played Metroid... Two, okay. Like I kind of like it was like oh the morph ball, yep that's cool. Like sure, you know. Okay. I mean like to me it, it was like I don't know it, it's just cool the game progression like you know the very you know we'll probably get into that later but yeah no I mean it was cool like I don't know I didn't feel any weight towards them I just you know, it just feels cool. It wasn't like shit. oh I've now got the power bomb I've seen that icon a whole bunch before yeah I know now that I can get into like all of these areas or I now know oh every single yellow door I've seen I can now yeah no that was, was, was there any of that that's the sort of no nah, not really that's unfortunate okay like because it just meant like because that's how I that's that's how it was for me like for, yeah. for games with exploration like that is. It's always this moment of just like, oh my god, this this changes everything. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I get I get the gravity of that situation. Yeah, yeah it wasn't gravity suit. I get it. <laughs> um, all right, well, I'll, I'll lead into my next uh, next little question here. Um, can you see how games have taken their inspiration from Super Metroid? Yes, but Paul is answering these questions first, so suffer any jokes. Can I see how games? Have, 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 yeah, can you see? Probably haven't played enough of them really to. But even to games that are not it. necessarily like, like I say, oh, like the elements of it. Yeah. yeah, like can you see how much of a landmark this game is based on how games have taken little portions away? No, I'm, I'm not so sure. Uh, like uh, Fantastic within its like within its genre, it's obviously a leader. Okay, but I, I don't see much of it really. Leading el elsewhere, but then again, that also could be just because of what I've played in terms of that elsewhere, yeah. and they're not the sort of games that would necessarily be inspired by something like Super Metroid. Okay, fair enough. Sure. So that's not even meant to be like a critical thing of the game. No, not at all. That's just not what you've experienced. So, yeah, you, you sit in front of too many RPGs for too long. I sit in front of a lot of RPGs. <laughs> mm. And you demo. So you've yeah, you've already, you already given the answer. Is there anything you'd like to? Elaborate? Yeah. Well, like. I mean, because from the very beginning of the game, like, you've got nothing but the backstory, which was amazing to give you. Thank you, developers. But then, like, you're out of the ship, and it's like, what do I do? And going back to, like, a game like Mega Man, it's like, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, you can run. So, like, the game doesn't have, like, a like a, something like a tutorial. punching in you in the face saying, do this, do this, do this. It's it's fucking, exactly. So, you know, you start to run. Oh, shit, there's guys there. What can I do? I'm going to hurt me. Shoot! Like it, the game teaches you how to play it. Even like the game doesn't even tell you go left or right. No, it just you, you just do it. it. The general rule is if you're going left, you find something cool at the beginning versus going right. Yes, that is the right. basis. You of, can. Uh, uh, that's that's a Metroid. That's actually a Metroid thing. Yeah. Uh, Metroid. You. Uh, every single Metroid game has you starting going left. Yeah. Um, but you can go right to Metroid. There's yeah. nothing. Yeah. Uh, there's a like a. Like a super, super missile, super door. missile door, and this, but down the bottom you can actually speed run. Speed yeah. Boost through there. Anyway, um, but you can, yeah, you can totally jump over that wall. Like, yeah. You can, you can get over there. Um, <laughs> oh, beg your pardon. Sorry, but like the game definitely did not bore him. Yeah, just this conversation. <laughs> no, <it can't laughs> but no, it was it was really clever of how the game <laughs> worked. Like even using the animals to teach you, it's like, hey. This emu just ran really fast. Like I can run really fast. Crouch down, 
then jumped. Wonder if I can do that. Oh, look, sprite jumping. And then. So shine spark. Shine spark, that's it. And then the koalas are teaching a ball jump. Yeah, I, you actually only came across the. Um, the they're like little monkeys, actually, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They're but, monkey koala things. But, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I can see that. The, the, yeah, except, for, except for at the very end, yeah, I only came across the, the monkeys. Yeah, did you, did you save the, the animals at the end? What? Yeah, you can save the animals at the end of the game. Can you? Yeah. So you know. So what I didn't get the best ending. I knew I didn't get the best ending because I didn't well, see. Well, there's only a slight. There's a slight yeah. difference, really. Yeah, it's very, very. Uh, well, it's, it's totally, 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 totally like a Mass Effect three style. Hundred percent completion. You get the line. ending where Samus takes off her helmet and gives you a thumbs up. If you get a hundred percent completion and obviously save the animals, then she gets down to a zero suit. Yeah. No. All, all of those endings are based on time. Oh, it's time. Yeah, it's under three hours. Oh. Um, anyway, uh, so that, that one. Is this podcast um, because Damo is returning to the game to try and finish it in <laughs> under three hours. Um, so actually, the um, the animals, you can find them in, this, in the room where you get the bombs. So when you're running away, you can, if you morph ball down, you can go in there and you can like, shoot a wall out and then go back up. Oh. You should have ample time. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Um, and those animals actually make a return in Metroid Fusion, yes. which I'm not sure if you're aware of. Yes, uh, they, actually watched... have, they have storyline consequences in relation to that. So yeah, it's it's really cool how they do that. Like they're like Elecoons and Dia Dakaras or something like yeah. that. But they're, they're, which is their name that they're given. Um, and yeah, they're supposed to be like very smart animals. They how and and they've they've been consistent in the series of like teaching Samus. Of her like latent abilities that she doesn't know, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. And again, because the game doesn't have a tutorial and it doesn't really even tell you how shit works. And yeah. It's, but it's got little stuff like that, which I think is really cool. Um, so moving on from that, and well, sort of to segue into the actual game world itself, how did the world feel to you? Did it feel like a connected world where everything did you? Because there are multiple entrances and exits to different areas of mm. the planet like for different you know you can go from Criteria to, to, to Bridstar but you can go via like, different yeah via yeah, multiple different parts like did everything feel connected did it feel like a living breathing world to it you? it all felt connected it did feel a little confusing from time to time just because you got this it just says Criteria or the elevator shaft thing you whatever know. so the, which part the, where, where am I going to you know, hop out at again um, but that that would well game. that that's that's, well, that's, that's bit, part of it though. Yeah, but it is. It's kind of history behind the whole. The thing. whole the whole thing is that you're in a, like the the isolation that you have on a foreign planet. Yeah. So that's I guess an, you could that's an argument I suppose you could have for a living living world. But yeah. Like what, what about you, Damon? What, what did you think about? Yeah. That? No. Even though each section is very different in its own in its own sense, it was pretty fantastically joined. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know whether it's just, like, the subtlety of reoccurring things or what. Like, you know, whether it be the rock areas or the, the tunnels that connect things the and stuff like room. that. And yeah, it, it, I don't know. It, it felt... Colour palettes as well. Yeah, it did feel joint, even though it did feel separate. Like, you know, it, 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 to put it in one sense, it'd be like travelling to different countries. Really. That's, that's how it feel. felt. Instead of going overseas, though, you would just kind of... Going through a tunnel, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, well, for me, I I actually really love that part of it, where it's like, like you, you take a lift that you've not been in before, and you're like, oh, shit, it's saying I'm in criteria. I didn't know I could access this back corner of it this way. Yeah. Or, or like, there, there are parts with, um, like, Meridia, yeah. where you have, like, very early on in the game, you have like three screens of Meridia, and it's just like, okay, I guess there's a whole area there somewhere. Then you've got that sort of glass tunnel. Yeah. You can go to the glass tunnel. I won't tell you the secret about the glass tunnel, but um, you can. Good glass do, tunnel. You can do some stuff. You, you know what I'm referring to? Oh. You really? You can do a loop, pretty much. You just do a giant loop while going to Meridia. I, I, I know you can take you. this. There is a long, long, long way yeah. around, but there's a really short. I'll show you. Uh, yeah, no, but um, like, yeah, if you don't do that glass thing, like. You are stuck. Yeah, in this you have to loop because of you make one wrong turn and you have to go right back around again. Yeah, yeah, that that, that might have I don't know, extended my extended time. your place. I'm <laughs> sure. Um, 
Okay, let's. This this one's more of a kind of vague question. Did did you have any aha moments in the game? Which just like, oh, I see what I have to do next. Like, it just there's like everything, like puzzles all clicking into place. Of being like, oh, I need to use this thing here. Or I need to, I need to use this to get to my next objective. My first playthrough, no. My second playthrough, yes. Because then when you're investigating a little bit more. Well, no, not exactly. The second one, I kind of went, I can get, I reckon I can get there without that. Like, there was one a sequence break or? Yeah, well. Or like minor sequence break. Like, yeah, minor. It was like, you need the high jump boots here. And I'm like, do I though? Yeah. And I was like, so I just did the old, you know, morph ball and bomb up. And I'm like, got here. I wonder what, I couldn't even remember what was there. I was like, I'm going to go through it. I'm like, oh, that's why I need the high boots. This boss is a lot harder without the Giant claw guy. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, put his claw down and you have to try and shoot him in the head. Yeah. And then he, in the mouth, sorry. And then he goes, oh. so I did him without the high jump boots. Which one was that? Sorry. The, the one was the claw down. The green, green the guy. Green he shoots his claw at two like, levels. Oh, great. Is that great? Great, the, the one that shoots the platforms out of his stomach. Yeah, yeah that's great. Ah, here you go. Wait, you you beat him after you got the high jump boots? Before oh, I got the high jump boots. I beat him after high jump. Oh, because you got to get to his area. You have to use the oh, high jump the, boots the to get ice, to the... the ice mouth. Yeah, something? yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally screw. Uh, I spin jumped in there, like <laughs> right at the start. I'm like, <laughs> yep, go on here. Yeah, you can you can spin jump in there too. Like I was working out, like you, you could. Like ball jump, the thing. There's heaps. Yeah. There's heaps of options you got. It. It's kind of cool. But what about yeah. you, Did you have any aha moments where it's just like, ah, oh, this is how I get here, or well, that's what I need that. For. Yeah, mostly it's just yeah, the, that's what I need that for. Kind of. Oh, there was this path that I couldn't get to before. Now I can go back to that, which is not the sort. Of, again, to go back to uh, the way I played Axiom Verge last year, whenever it was. Like yeah. I didn't even worry about that sort of stuff, but I was giving it more thought with this, and it was. Oh yeah, hang on. I can go back and do this thing. So I was that and did that thing. Was that exciting? Was it exciting? It was good. No, no, it was good. But that feeling of like, there's so many more options now. Yeah, no, I think, and I think like to compare those two, I think the difference with acting version was that I wasn't all that wowed by the things they give to me when I did do that. So I didn't. Fair enough. So I didn't go pursuing them. Yeah. Whereas with this, I felt the reward was there. Okay. So, so you prefer the items in this game to that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's see what else we've got. Consequently, probably making Axiom Verge harder for myself, but... Well, yeah, um, there were some really good weapons in that game that were kind of game-breaking to an extent. Um, okay. Uh, it's that time. Sorry, Pip is off camera making a little bit of racket. Um, best and worst thing about this game? Uh, that it ended was the worst. Oh, it's sweet of you to say. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know. God. <laughs> God. Such a... Sorry, it was a quick rushed answer when I knew I had to do it with the dog. Um, <laughs> You're going to have to give me another one that's not that. All right. Uh, best, oh, I think, the way all those sort of collectibles were laid out and planned out because it actually got someone like me who's kind of, whatever, just a linear path, going back and doing things off the beaten path. Um, weakest, some of the bosses were a bit easy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How easy is grappling boss? Grappling boss? Yeah, just grappling of the electricity. We're going to have to talk about this off here. I'm not sure. Because <laughs> I, I, like, I know the names of the bosses generally, and I'm like... Oh. Ah, yeah. And that's sort of what I know them by. Yeah, that's fair. Um, fair enough. Well, I, I, let me ask you a question with that, though. Um, the age that you were in 94... <laughs> five. Not in, the game came out in 94. Five. Five, yeah, five years old. Okay, I was five years. Yeah. Old. Um, how, how would how do you think this game would have been to you then? <laughs> I would have gone back and started playing Final Fantasy again. <laughs> so you wouldn't have get with it. Probably not. Okay. Would it have been too hard for you then? But look, let's give you a couple. Mate, of years. Yeah, let, let's say it took you a couple of years to get around to it. Seven or eight. Like, do you think the bosses would have been hard then, or do you think that you've like you've grown your difficult black, enough that it would challenge me, but I'd be able to get past them. Like, Okay. Would it like be developed Would it be like more like I was I was smashing out Zelda games by then? Yeah. So like the point I'm trying to make is like you've sort of grown a certain level of chops. I would imagine in terms. Yeah. Of well, two, five years five years games. old. I'm a bit of a rookie and still learning my way around the control. Or Seven or eight. Or feeding yourself. Oh, I couldn't do that. <laughs> you still can't. <laughs> um, <laughs> what about you, David? Best and worst. Um, start on a negative note. 
Uh, sure, uh, negative, not? negative. negative no, if down. I feel like if I didn't have played another Metroid beforehand or a Metro- Metroidvania game, I would have found it hard to know what to do. Because, I mean, that's just... I mean, maybe this is a Metroid thing. Like, you have to think a little bit outside of the box in comparison to other games. But, I mean, and it's not a thing that breaks the game. And, I mean, this is me nitpicking it because there's not a lot of things that I had a problem with this game. Like, if I really wanted to go into it, it would be that the DS version didn't fix the sound well enough. Like, it was very, very, very soft. So that's actually my worst thing. 3DS, fix that shit, patch it or something. Like, yeah, you know, I put the headphones on, man. I had to have the volume right up. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It was I weird. Was there any really turned or myself or away? Yeah. I can't remember. I, I don't know. I had speakers. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's, that's it. Like, I didn't need picking. But, like, yeah, I mean, I knew what to do. Because I had played Metroid, too. I was like, okay, you need the Morph Ball, obviously, and then you're going to need the Morph Bomb. Like, just how this works. But, that's, yeah, that's me nitpicking the shit out of it. Like, <laughs> it's really hard, like, worst thing. So, that's not saying it's a bad thing. It's just a minor thing out of such a great game. Because, like, the best best thing was, is just the, all the upgrades were all just fantastic fun like you know you, you're playing the same map but you're playing it in a different aspect as soon as that like you get that upgrade like you know when you get the speed run it's all of a sudden you know, it's like and you're running through things and you get the high jump boots and you're just you're jumping that huge distance higher the freeze beam and you're like you're using it to platform yourself from getting yeah, things yeah. and you know it's just all those every upgrade like, regardless of, like, you know, the the gun upgrades, you know, piling on top of each other and, like, one becomes irrelevant or whatever, that's... Who cares, really? Like, it's... Well, because it doesn't. Because you can actually go into, you know, you can go into your menu. Yeah. You actually turn your upgrades off. Yeah. Which is, which is awesome. I love that. Yeah, it. it was cool as... Did you know that? No. Yeah, so you go into your pause <laughs> menu and it will give you your, um, your map screen. And if you go to the Samus screen, if you hover over any of those and you push the A button... Yeah, turn, you don't, you turn okay, off that cool. upgrade. And so. it's just, it's just cool. Like, I mean, so like when you get the plasma, sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah, sorry. When you get the plasma beam, it automatically turns off space up, so you can then go back in yeah. and turn plasma it's off. off and, yeah. Yeah. Um, or you could try and break the game. Like there, there is a game break where you um, have them both on at the same time, and if you fire your gun at the wrong time, you will crash the game. So there you go. So fun facts. Cool. Um, yeah, as as you were saying. Quite that, yeah, no, like, it just, I don't know, it all just felt really, really crazily cool. Like, you know, and then you eventually, like, there was nothing game-breaking, which is awesome. Like, I mean, this screw attacks, like, just demolishing people. Screw attacks, yeah. But then you get them against the goes those enemies that can't be hurt by it, and you're like, well, what do I do? fuck, what do I do now? It's like, I'm going to go back to old-school kind of combat, and it's like, that's cool. Like, and you can even kind of give yourself a half-screw attack. Yeah. Um, when you if you charge up your gun to full, you can actually jump through some enemies. It'll consume the charge. Yeah. Yeah. That that's that's something I really love about the game. I mean, for me, best and worst. Um, worst, I would probably say uh, would be the quicksand in Meridian because that was it's it's fucking <laughs> yeah. annoying. Like, it's, like and when it lets you jump out, it's not just a matter of hammer the jump button until you get to the top of the quicksand and then you can jump out. It's like it's random. Um, yeah. And the only way that I found to actually make that like nullified, as I was telling you earlier, yes, today, that's true. Is um, you get the spring ball yeah. um, or spring jump for your your little ball, the more ball mode, um, and you can basically actually jump out of quicksand a lot easier. With yeah, that because your character has a smaller sprite, so you can. Yeah. Um, obviously, yeah. So the quicksand in Meridia is probably the worst thing about the game for me because it was just annoying. <laughs> um, the best thing would would be for me that feeling that I've sort of been almost searching for, I guess, with you guys, whether you actually had it, is just that feeling of whenever you get a new upgrade, it's just like, awesome. Like, I remember there was this place and this place and this place that I couldn't do, and there was, like, that little wall that I I needed, you know, power bombs to break through and all that sort of stuff, and uh, now I've got the x-ray visor, I can look through that stuff, which you didn't even know was a thing you could get. Um, (laughs) Yeah. 
you can miss it. Like it's it's easy to miss. It's an oh, optional yeah. room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same with same with um, spring jump for your ball, your moth ball mode. Oh, really? Optional. Yeah. Absolutely. Huh. Um, spacer also optional. Like, yeah. 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 It's in that. Yeah. Um, and that's uh, yeah, and that's and that's the thing. Like the the item progression was great, and and that feeling of I can go back to all these places. Like it's it's a game that makes you want to play more of the game. Yeah, it's and I think that's fantastic. Um, I, I that was going to be my perfect segue into my next question, but I'm actually going to uh, inject a question uh, that I had actually written down. Um, in there, and it's it's to do with the controls. Yes, yes. How, how did you find the controls? I know you both played it on handheld, <laughs> um, but in terms of like outside of that, like outside, Very of, the, outside of the because obviously, it, I mean, the game has a run button. Like you, you have to remember this. This was made for a Super Nintendo controller. Yeah, no, no dramas with that though. Yeah, it's still plenty games like, there now. Yeah, so yeah run button like you, into your like your speed boost mode into like your you know flip jumping and, and, and yeah. all the additional controls that they don't actually tell you, like the, was it, I think it was like crystal spark or crystal something, um, crystal shot it might be. Uh, have you guys ever heard of that before? What? So it's a special shot one. Yeah, it's a, it's a special move that you, it's crystal something, I can't actually remember what it is, so uh, don't hate me online for it. Um, so obviously you, you've got your shine spark, which yep. they don't tell you. Uh, but you can use to good effect. Um, some of the missile upgrades do require you to use that, mm -hmm. but it does drain your health, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, but this uh, crystal thing, um, you select power bombs, go into morph ball mode, you need minimum 10 missiles, 10 super missiles, 10 power bo uh, 11 power bombs, and you hold, I think it's hold the fire button or something, until you glow, and it will convert that ammunition into full health from uh, and you have to be under 50 health oh. in, your, in your last energy bar and it will give you full energy tanks oh wow so there you go um so if, you're, if you, you stumble across a boss room and you've only got a couple of energy tanks instead of you having to farm the little bugs that f constantly fly out of things mm -hmm. but i mean they give you those r very very Some regularly for, yeah. you, for you to be able to refill all your stuff which i think again is great design um but yeah the, like there was a lot of hidden controls in yeah. Those games they just don't tell you about, which I think is really cool because you know stumbling across that stuff is really neat and interesting. Whether you even if you don't happen to do that, yeah. Because um, I mean, there's not very many parts in the game you actually have to jump. Like, do, do you don't have to do the the screw jump where you jump off walls. Yeah. But you totally can, and you'll totally get to places you're not supposed to be yet. Yeah. Um, which I think is really. I great. mean, you can get to the. Um you can get to like the last couple of missile upgrades as soon as you get the super speed speed, uh, <sighs> speed boost. Speed boost, yeah. Because you're using the shot. Sh yeah, because near where your ship is, you just like jump and you know, jump at an angle, and you end up on a wall, and it's like you're real. Like it's it's a real struggle after that because like obviously it's like they want you to have the spring ball like spring ball. Oh, and thing. not just that. Like I got that before I even got the gravity suit. Yeah. And there's water in there and enemies and shit that will kill you. Yeah. Like yeah, it's super, super dangerous straight, to straight, use. Yeah. Yeah. But, and that's right because it's got the lava that rises up. Yep. And um, the gravity suit actually is another upgrade in terms of environmental protection. Yeah. That lava doesn't hurt you once you've got the gravity suit. Yeah. Um, because that's how you get into Ridley's area. There's like all that lava. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm sure you remember that, yeah. Yeah. And so that's and that's the thing. And like I did that like almost pre various, like just after I got the various. Yeah. Thing. And that's it. Like there's there's some crazy things you can do. When I, they pay off. Like I uh, I beat um Crocomire before I got the grapple hook, before I got the wave beam. Like you can and that's the thing, and this game is renowned for sequence breaking. Yeah. Like you can uh, and, and again, I'm not sure how much of this you've heard, um, but you can you can get super missiles before you kill the giant coconut thing. You can. Oh, okay. You, there's so many different things that you can do to get stuff way before you're supposed to, and avoid entire sections of the game. All right. Cool. Yeah, and, and that's used in, in terms of speed running, where they'll do that because some of those parts are long winded, like that fight where it's just, and then you eventually get to crack one shot at it. Yeah. With it. Yeah, and they sort of skip all those things, and it becomes like standard that you have to do that to get a good time. Yeah. So uh, I think that's. Really and I think cool. if you. Look up and down. The total it takes off like a total of like twenty five minutes. Like it actually 
makes you run just the slightest minute bit faster and it takes off 25 minutes from like the, yeah, there's the, best, the total times. Like there was, when someone worked it out, it was like there was a huge jump in the speed running times. It was like, boom. It was like, how the hell did he do that? And it was just the nervous player. Just, and it was as he was walking. He was yeah, like, that was another part of the controls. And I, I don't know how well that translated to the 3DS port, but you actually had angle shots. Like, yeah, that was fine. The trees that did all. The, the like angle up made the grapple hooking possible. Day because trying to do it with the up <laughs> and missing was and you just fall a pain. But if you actually just hold the which is I think it's R, which is like angle up, yeah. up this way, uh, and you just, just like you just run, up, you just yeah. run and shoot and swing. It's it's great. It's it's really good. Um, and I, I actually went with a really unconventional um, yeah. setup. I, I actually changed uh, left trigger to so what select normally does, which is to cycle through my things. So yeah. I could so I could like flick to missiles yep. really fast. Um, and then so it was like jump, shoot, deselect, and then run. Um, so I could like jump, select missiles, fire them, and then deselect it if yep. I wanted to. Yeah. Anyway, but the, like I, I think the game is fantastic. Like it's just just it's so good with how it controls. Um, so I, I did want to get a question in there about that, and I realised I forgot. <laughs> um, so, did playing through this game for the first time did it make you want to play again? I know you did, yeah, and I know you've told me that you started again. Does it? How much of that push do you actually feel? Do you actually feel like, yeah, actually. I'm gonna play this again, actually, like right away? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, you don't the only thing that stopped me was time. Yeah, like, and I mean, you don't necessarily like work feel it's all the fact that there's a large stack of games here that yeah. I still. But I mean, knowing that you can easily knock it out in another three hours. Yeah. Oh, shouldn't be any reason to stop me. In fact, it probably just encouraged <laughs> me to go, oh, all right, from time to start looking at some of the other ones then. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to fusion, right? Yeah. Fusion. Well, that actually, that, that was actually my next Double question. Or uh, Prime so, or whatever it happens to be. Yeah, so there have, so I, I actually wrote this or question everyone's out. everyone's favourite, um, Metroid Other End. Mm. Fuck off, I hate you. <laughs> Um, there have been, uh, as I've said here, that there have been a couple of Game Boy Advance games in the vein of um, Super Metroid, and of course uh, there is the Prime series, but nothing since. Uh, is it about time we've got another game like this? Yes. Yeah. Jesus Christ, yes. Can they just give us what we want? And, and now is that it's in Federation Force? Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to hurt you. Um, you no, what, what they, what if they you want to see me glass ball, um, I'll talk free now. Um, what they need to do, whatever their next big, if they do another console game, be it a Prime or not other M, but that sort of 2.5. Look, their next big proper 3D console game. Yeah. They need to have something like something like a Fusion, like a Super Metroid, your 2D side-scrolling old school one to go alongside it. But then, depending on what NX is, they need both. Then they need well, the, the 3D they, and they, the 3D. I don't think they do need the 3D. Actually, huh? I, I I think that's not gone well for Castlevania, and I I think it's the same with Metroid. Yeah, I, like hiding. Some people love it, man. Some people love that first person. I don't think you'll find anyone that will say that Metroid Prime is the best thing that happened to Metroid. No one, definitely no one's going to say that. But no, there are people there that don't like the odd two uh, uh, D Metroid. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that. I, I suppose. I suppose. But even in the Metroid Prime games, they did try and have that same sort of progression, of where it's like, "Hey, cool, I've got this upgrade now. I can do stuff." Especially in the first game. The first game's really good for that. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, Castlevania is a different beast as well. The three D ones are god of war. Like yeah. No. Clones. Clones. Wanna be. Wanna be. Because clones are always derivatives of the original anyway let's move on um so now <laughs> what are these the other half of this question is do you understand why people have been calling for this game for so long now you've experienced it firsthand to a greater degree i mean i, I actually didn't know Call, that you, calling for what calling for more like oh, more super like metroid it. start you know, style games like, oh yeah of course. now, now well, yeah. i mean previously you probably would have been like oh yeah metroid i, I, I guess you think it's good i don't know why um, and you, I, I didn't actually know that you played Metroid 2, but yeah. after playing Super Metroid, which is what a lot of people arguably say is the, one of the best in the series, if not the best, yeah. do you understand why people are like, yeah, I mean, look, this? Yeah, like I said, I was watching JRP, like I watched his world record run of 
Fusion. And I was like, oh, man, this game's cool. Like, I don't know. And I played Super and I'm like, oh, my God, this is awesome. And then, like, I've actually picked up Fusion since then. I played a bit of that. I was like, God damn it. Why did I, like, why did I just stop? Why did I stop and never, like, why have I never, like, gone back? I think I think it was when I got the Wii and I played Metroid. Just turned me off it. It wasn't a fair enough. It wasn't solidly round like, uh, like Metroid Two, and you know, Super Metroid refined so much, and I just I feel really ashamed of myself for not getting on that bandwagon earlier. Well, not to also forget um, Metroid Zero Mission, which is actually a full, uh, re- yeah, it's a that's full, full remake. That's the, the full remake right? of the original with additional a huge additional chunk at the end of the game. Yeah. Um, and it's it's not an insignificant tack on. It's it's a great addition to the game. Um, where you play as Zero Suit Samus, that's where the Zero Suit Samus yeah. style and her firearm. That's where that came from. Because she or you get as a stun gun, and you've kind of got like almost a stealth element to that portion. I don't want to get into any more of that, but it's been, been spoilers. But um, yeah, that that's the thing. Like it's that's sad it's that it's too. it's been since the Game Boy Advance that we've had a real Metroid game, like a true yeah. Metroid. And look, not not to not to shit on the Metroid Prime series. I, I don't have anything against the Metroid Prime series. I feel like it got worse as time went on. It became more cliche. Yeah, first I, th- I think shooter. critically, like that mirrors... Like yeah, the first one was quite good and it, it, it managed to get a good, the same feelings of the same sort of isolation and also joy at finding that new thing of being like, oh, all those things that I've seen. And, yeah, but... That game was 100% about scanning because it was cool. And and again, for me, that was also because of the X-ray visor in Super Metroid. It's, it's got that same feel. Yeah. And you can definitely see where it's like, oh, in Super Me- like in, in Metroid Prime, it's like, this says it's cordite. Usually those are weak to, you know, concussive force. In other words, it means shoot it with a missile. Whereas in this, it just has the icon of the missile and you're like, pop. Yeah. Ah, cool, I've got a cool thing now. Um, which I really like, but... Yeah, like it's been since Zero Mission that we've had a real 2D side-scrolling Metroid. Yeah. Because Other M is not even like that. Like, Other M doesn't really... No, no, um, no It doesn't have that same sort of progression. Dumb China, China, yeah. it's, it's, no, I don't look at yeah, it. It wasn't even a bad game. It was just super mediocre, and they're adding <laughs> they're adding unnecessary story right. elements. Right. That Like, the whole um, Adam Malkovich thing was basically a side thing that they added to Metro Fusion. Like, that's it. Yeah. And, and they... Basically, they make it almost an entire game of it with Metroid other around. It's it's a super unimportant thing. Like Samus is way more intriguing and interesting when she's stoic, not when she's you know all motherly love and stuff. Yeah, like it's it's not like it's not what the characters ever been. The characters always been strong and silent, and that doesn't mean you can't have dialogue at all. It, yeah, it just means that the, the dialogue that they had where it's. You know, it's all touchy feely. That it was, it doesn't need it, yeah. and, and they they get away from what makes Metroid good, which is mechanics. Like you, we we talked about this when we when we played Journey last month. Um, I'm mechanics heavy. I'm very game mechanics heavy. But when it comes to some of the artsy stuff, some of it's you know it really engages me. But a lot of it's just like this game is trying to you know, make me feel something. And it's like, that's, that's not, <laughs> like, it's not that it's, I don't have feelings. It's just that it's like, I, that, it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's not it's, that it's, I don't have feelings, but if the, I ever get them again, you'd be goddamn <laughs> that sure I'm like just like I'm going to glass, glass that, yeah, that I will, they'll gut themselves out of <laughs> my chest with a broken bottle. No, it, it, it's more that it's just, it doesn't resonate with me the same way. Like, yeah. that, like figuring puzzles out and how stuff works and those aha moments, all of those sorts of things are the things that I love about video games. Yeah. It's that real like intellectual link that I'm building with the game rather than that sort of emotional link. Um, and that's, and that's perhaps why some storytelling, like heavy storytelling games are not, you know, huge for me either, but games where it's just like, you've got to like map these buttons a certain way and, you know, jump here and swap to this thing and do that and, mm. you know, dodge this attack this way. You know, like like a Dark Souls as well has very much that mechanics thing and, and, I, and I appreciate that as well, like the timing and things like that. And you, you've actually kind of got that in in Metroid as well. Like you think of the first boss when you get um, 
the bombs because I'm not counting Ridley at the start of the game. You can actually morph ball under most of his attacks yeah. and roll underneath him. So when he, you can you can do that with basically taking no damage very easily. Yeah, and and that's the thing. It's 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 a game where it's trying to teach you by playing, but it also does by showing, and and I think that's really neat. And yeah, uh, it's been so long since we've had something like this, and it's real sad that I want more of it. So yeah, it and, and hopefully you're on that bandwagon too. So. I don't know how much, if anything, you've got left. No, that's pretty much. Um, that's pretty much I've got a question for the both of you. Okay. Ooh. Um, given that this year, 2016, is the 30th anniversary of the Metroid franchise. 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 Oh, oh, yes. Why we'll the never. hell has Nintendo not done anything? And, and, and no federation forces. Like I think they, they announced. Why, they announced the game why does Nintendo year. ever never do no, anything but, with no, that? But I mean, look at Zelda. So, for example, Zelda this year's thirtieth anniversary as well. They don't have the game ready. You know, just, uh, I mean, they Breath argue, the they, argue they do have it ready. Breath. They don't want to release it without their but, new console. What, yeah, okay, whatever, whatever the reason is, but it's not. It's not coming out this year. But they're still like, okay, well, here. Here's a bunch of really cool amiibo for you that okay. acknowledge the franchise's history. I see um, you, this, and this, I this, ask this. you, and what did they do? What did they do for the Metroid 20th anniversary, 25th anniversary? No, but none of this sort of stuff. Like Nintendo wasn't really doing that. For, yes, they did. They did that for Skyward Sword, Zelda, 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 Mario, Zelda. Zelda they Garden. did one for Kirby. They did one for Mario. Did they, and they did but one they for haven't Kirby. done anything prior to the last. They did prior, prior to the Mario All Stars bundle with. Uh, for its 25th or 30th or whatever it was, whatever the hell that was, uh, in, in and around the same sort of year that they did. They, they did the, a Kirby uh, one as well. I'm, 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 yeah, there, there was a few things they did there, but it's only been very recent. Now, this okay. is the first Metroid thing that we've had Miles since then. Right. Why the hell hasn't that happened? Like, I don't know. Do you know what they fucking did? Like, they what? gave, like, that pinball game for nothing. Oh, that's something. Something? It's, it's fucking no, Federation no, full no, shit. I no, I, I know. Um, but yeah, look. Well, they haven't. They haven't they, because they, they don't. They, they don't treat their IP as well. That's that's your answer. They haven't because they don't treat their IP as well. It's that simple. Like Metroid, other M probably didn't sell very well. I think Metroid probably, Prime Three probably didn't sell. At first, I think well. they were hoping that Federation Force would have. When they first revealed it last year, I think they were hoping that it would have been sweet. We're gonna, and then maybe had the reception not been so bad initially, built around that thing. And here we'll throw in this Samus and mm-hmm. we'll do this and we'll do this. I feel but instead, like the backlash was immediate and it was horrible. I feel and like that game was originally not backed away from it. I feel like that game was originally not a Metroid game. No, it probably wasn't. And the backlash is purely because that's not what Metroid is. No, so, no, no, that I understand. Like, I think that is clearly the whole... their, their thing. Maybe this is all we've got at the moment, but we're bringing out a Metroid game. Maybe it wasn't, as you said, maybe it wasn't even meant to be a Metroid game. But then Nintendo stepped in with whoever it is that was making it and said, hey, 30 years next year, we want you to turn this thing into a Metroid game so that we can celebrate if, it. If this and is then what, the studio did a horrible job of it. Yeah. But the damage was, so they There's stepped nothing, away as much as they possibly could. I've, from what I've seen of this game, there is nothing redeemably Metroid about it. No, but the, the thing maybe it wasn't initially and they stepped in and said, make it so. Of course. They, they but, couldn't. The reception was... A dis- like it was just an absolute disaster for them upon reveal. So then they stepped away from that as much as they possibly I think could. I would which argue is why we've not seen the sort of stuff that is going on with Zelda this year. I would, which is I would still argue that tiny. Other M probably heard it more than anything else as yeah. a franchise. Because again, like they tried to give people what they thought they wanted. It's well, like, yeah, it's like the two D ish kind of thing. And yeah, like and, the... but that, that's the thing. Like it wasn't that that was the problem. The gameplay was serviceable it, it actually wasn't that bad um the story was the bad part mm. it just it was lame and like it you, you were gritting your teeth through it because it was just not good but that's the thing like there was a few sections of dialogue where it was introspection and that's it for the whole game if you go and you play metroid fusion there's a lot more introspective dialogue and for the most part of it it is okay <laughs> Some of it's in, in the it's like the early stages of that other M stuff, um, and I don't know if you've played other M, but I would recommend not. Um, <laughs> but that's the thing. Look, the, the reason they haven't made one is they don't. They don't. Look, maybe they don't see that there's a market for it, which is insane. Because how many Metroidvanias do you see on Steam these days? Tons. And how um, well did Axiom Verge do last year? Yeah, it's fun. Gangbusters. 
But that, that's the thing. Like, they don't treat their IPs well other than their, like, where's F-Zero? Where's, you know, where's a decent, you know, Kirby game? Where's a decent Star Fox game? And look, they we had to wait 10 years to get a Star Fox game. It was shit. Like, they don't know how to treat their IPs well. What, so what will be, you've said what you want the ne- next Metroid to be. What will be the next Metroid game, though? Um, Let's assume it happens. Do we, f- regardless of what you want it to be, do you feel like it might be a a retro developed prime sort of game again, or are we going to um, see it? Look, they'll probably they'll probably beat the dead horse that is Metroid Prime for a, maybe dead. another horse. It, it is Re- like, like yeah, federal, some, the, some the fact that they're calling Metroid like Metroid Hunters Prime Hunters is as bad as Federation Federation Force. It like after Prime Two, that horse was dumb. Like. Three was bad, Hunters was worse, and Federation Force is not even a Metroid game under the Metroid banner. Like, so as far as, look, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think there's any steam left in the Metroid Prime angle. There's plenty of room to be making another 2D game. Yeah. Whether they choose to make it or not, they want it. And at this stage, I get my you know Metroid Mania fix from the indie market, you know? Shovel Knight. No. No, no sorry. What am I... Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Cave Story would be one. Axiom Verge would be another. Sorry, I had a moment. Um, I mean, again, we spoke, we spoke about um, Ori and the Blind Forest earlier on. That's got touches of it. Yeah. Um, I mean, Castlevania Symphony of Night has just come to Xbox One because it was previously on the arcade. Uh, that's where I get my fix because yeah, I, I don't know what it's I'm gonna do. Yeah, they're not, and and that's and not like the really, and not as Konami. In terms well, of yeah, that's true too. Sure. But and, and that's the sad part. Like the sad part is, I always preferred the Metroid side of the Metroid Mania because there was no grinding. There was there was no hey, if I keep killing this one random enemy, keep going like yeah, out of the room, into the room, it'll eventually drop this thing that trivializes the rest of the game. There isn't that. Like Metroid has that perfect like linear progression of, oh, cool, I'm at the end of the game, I get screw attack, and every motherfucker dies. You know? So, but yeah, I, like, it's a, it's a depressing subject matter, because like, the situation is what the situation is. We haven't had a decent one since Zero Mission. Final thoughts, Tamar? Yeah, well, oh, look, I hope the dreams are pinned on that 2D thing. I, look, I, know, if I think the new guy... The as well. The new guy come yeah. The new guy in charge of Nintendo, what's his name? Kimishima. Satoru, what? <laughs> Kimishima. <laughs> um, look, if he's focused on money... Where is it? Like, if he's focused on getting back a fan base and things like that, I really do think there'll be two Metroids released, a 2D side-scroller and the 3D first-person. That's, that's my stance. ...kind of shooting coming from it. And whether it's released on both or not, who knows? I don't care. I would, I, I would love to see the... The game restored. I'd like to see its its glory returned. I, I, would, I wouldn't like to see a prime. Would not. I don't care much for that storyline at all. I would love to see whether they go like pre Metroid Origins or whether they, you know they go back to Samus's home planet where it's been blown up and shit like that. Like I don't know, planet jumping. Fuck, I don't know. Just give me, give me something. All right. Well, I guess that and you. Well, I mean, like, where do you see? Oh no, I see it the same way that it need, uh, I think we'll get one of each. Now we don't know what the NX is, but it's true. Uh, in, supposing that the rumors are true and that it is a console slash handheld hybrid thing, then we're going to get one game, one core game that will be your three D, whether it's Prime, other M style I, thing. Well, I, would you, I would challenge you to play kind of, if. Like, you know, that sort of experience. I would challenge you to play all three of the bad games. Good, bad, or otherwise. And then come back and tell me. Good, bad, or otherwise. Uh, critically, the things were still received really well. No, no, no. I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm just saying I, I would I would challenge you to see if there's any steam left. In that oh, point. no, but uh, you could also argue it's been close to 10 years since one came out. So they could they could say that the things back. Chief. But, uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, but... Uh, I feel like we'll get one of those sorts of experiences and then maybe a digitally downloadable, downloadable old school style. Do you, do you think the Nindies, do you think that's where it should fall to? Do you think they should just give the Metroid franchise to someone that wants to give it love? Do you think that's the right way? Give it to that guy that's made fucking... AM2R, yeah. the one who's just spent 
12 years or something to have it pulled. Mm. It's on the internet. There's there are, there are servers and yeah, if you look in the Ukraine, where, where, like where it's, it's, it's really out there, like, just look for it. It's it might have been yanked, but it doesn't matter once it's, 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 it's on the internet. internet. <laughs> there, there are there's servers, you'll, you'll find it. Um, and yeah, <laughs> perfectly serviceable, uses all of the Metro Fusion and Zero Emission artwork and um, maneuverability and you know, grab ledges and stuff. And it's yeah, great, yeah, fantastic. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, game for next month. Uh, next month is kind of our joint game, joint exercise. Uh, it's one that we're all pretty excited to tackle. <laughs> uh, Castle Crashes. Oh, I was going to put in a pun, like, it's going to be a real crashing party. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 glad, glad, I'm glad the audience waited for that. <laughs> I, uh, so, I was going to add, I didn't fucking, I was also <laughs> fucking bored. But anyway, Castle Crashes is the game we're going to be tackling next month. Um, it's one that all three of us have played before to very different extents, but we're going to look to try and play together so that we can Smash have a them. shared opinion and have a lot of fun Let's go together. on what? Hey? Say that again? I'm we'll going Pink Knight. You can all fuck off. That's mine. We'll, um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'll have to see what I've not beaten them with. <laughs> Otherwise, oh, I'll have like shit. an end game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that, so that'll be our next Video Games Club in a month from now. Yep. Uh, make sure to catch up with weekly episodes of Patched. In fact, next week's episode, you'll see me coming back with a bit of a report from the EV Expo. I will have just been in Sydney where I'll be talking about what I saw and what I did and EV. who I was able to... That's it. That's... What? Where's the... B-E. B-E. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I will have been at the EV Expo. You're so not going to give you a bit of a report. <laughs> oh! Well, no, sorry. they skip the second one, they just jump straight. Jump to straight to three, yeah. Um, so three. I'll be able to give you a bit of a report on what we've seen there. Uh, Game science. And then, then a range of other <laughs> different things that we'll come to discuss. <laughs> so, <laughs> until next week for Patched, thank you again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, Player2AU. Because obviously it, after this you want to see more of our content, let's be honest. Visit Player2. <laughs> visit <laughs> player two content around it. You know you want more. <laughs> this is a fantastic video. It, it is uh, a fantastic, I'm, not a hint of sarcasm. Uh, make sure to visit player2.net.au. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to visit <laughs> player2.au on Twitter. Damn up, Tacos Talks. Tacos Talks! And, uh, and uh, yeah. P2, Jade, and thank you XS. for uh, watching. It's too late. Anchorman <laughs> XS, I'll repeat. Um, <laughs> yeah. well, I'm because it's, <laughs> this is not my doing. You can blame Matt for that. Uh, Thanks, Matt. Until Love next you, week, thank you, and we'll see you later. Play some more Metroid. <laughs>